There's so much to talk about, but mm. we got to start with the dog. We just have to, because right. one of the things, it was the first thing that I loved about the dog, and it's still the thing I love the most about the dog are the eyes. I the know. Eyes, the eyes of the dog. They're just I mean, dead every, and crazy at yes, the same time. Everything, everything, you know, the writing has always been spectacular. Yes. A the lot of writers help me, always. The voice was uh, always uh, crazy, a crazy choice. <laughs> um, <laughs> we should tell people the origin story yeah. because it came yeah. out of this thing we were doing on the show, which was yes. a, a, a talent show. Yes. And there was a fake... Um, the, the idea was maybe there'll be this, this talent show and we'll use whatever we have to do. Well, to it all pretend. came out of this insane, like, uh, directive we created for the show. And I was a mantra that I drove the writers crazy with, which was just like, we're not going to do any found humor. Right. Like I was obsessed with, we're not going to copy Dave Letterman because yeah. we worship this guy. Even when we were at Saturday Night Live, we secretly knew that Dave's show was the coolest show on TV. Yeah. And as much as I loved Conan and believed in him, I didn't, I just thought nobody can do stuff that Dave's doing. Right. Including remotes, which shows what a shitty producer I was. <laughs> I was like, Conan can't do remotes because Dave doesn't. And I've seen Pat Sajak do it. And Pat Sajak's as good as Conan. And, and who he fail. <laughs> Who can follow Sajak? <laughs> yeah. If Sajak can't do it, how can my best friend do it? Yeah. It's impossible. No, I was, I, you But know. you know, we had, because I remember even before the show started, we would talk a lot about yeah. the, the, almost like we had these rules. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of it was, mm -hmm. there was a, don't do anything that Dave had done, but also I don't, I didn't think that was as big a worry because we both loved cartoons too much. No, we were and naturally suited we, to what we wanted we, to we do. We naturally wanted to do very silly, yeah. strange uh, things that that were, but yes. but even when we used to do actual items, and it was the first piece we ever did on the show, right. which was our <clears throat> it was our shot across the bow. Yes, because Jay would do the thing where he'd go, "Oh, and I see this here. This it was just real right. ads from like Sears and Roebuck, right. and this." And in and, fairness, that was small town news from Dave. Yeah, Jay borrowed. I, I borrowed it. I Fair just borrowed it. It's all Dave fine. can have it back. Just, Dave can have it back. He just yeah. he can't do the Tonight Show, yeah. you know, but he can have it back anytime he wants. He can have it anytime he wants. <laughs> I like Dave, doing Jay's. Dave invented headlines all of a sudden. Dave yeah, okay. invented it. So, sorry, uh, sorry. He did. No, 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 no. You do it. I, you do it because I'm, you know, whatever. Um, but <laughs> whatever. we did a fake one mm. of those where we would just hold up. I don't even remember what they were, but we had everybody writing them and they were, some of them yes. were so dark, but they were hilarious. Yes. We would alter these ads and then right. it would be, you know, like I would say, we've, I mean, we've talked about this, but we would say, cause I always loved this bit. Yes. And um, it would say, look at this. It's for nice trampoline that kids can play on, blah, blah, right. blah. But look at over here and in the corner, there'd be a Charles Manson <laughs> yeah. saying- What's it there for? Yeah, and I'd be like, what's Charles Manson? And, and, and just always Charles Manson saying something yeah. like, it's my favorite <laughs> trampoline to murder to, yeah, exactly. whatever. <laughs> it didn't make, they were, they were much funnier than that, but it was, <laughs> and then I would be incredulous and, yeah, and, well, and, you and you and guys would always say, "You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up." <laughs> and if you wanted to, and then I'd go too far. If you wanted to, and had writers and a graphics department. <laughs> yeah, right. That was the first um, first bit we did, and yeah, Lauren Lauren really wanted that on the first show. Yeah, Lauren Michaels. Uh, yes, yeah. Lauren Michaels from television, and uh, <laughs> and now from everything. Um, Every I'm everywhere. I make clothes. Now. I'm under. I'm right here. Hi, everybody. I'm right here. Do you have my leisure suit? Conan, um, do you really want to go with those sneakers? He's under the <laughs> um, uh, I want to take people back in time Sorry. to when I first met you would be 1988, the very beginning of 1988. Yeah. My writing partner, Greg Daniels, and I get hired to come in to work at SNL. We're petrified. Yes. And I remembered finding there was just this natural thing where I gravitated towards you and Bob Odenkirk, yeah. uh, and uh, who's now the Jacques Claude Van Damme. <laughs> uh, I always knew. I, yeah, we, we always knew. knew. We that always knew. That guy. <laughs> that guy's gonna. That guy's gonna have a John Wick franchise. He's gonna have a <laughs> stunt man, and uh, yeah. Um, but <laughs> and then we started uh, naturally just all goofing around together. And then uh, I think the thing that was really life changing for me is that. You, a few years before, had done a show in Chicago, a stage show, 
mm -hmm. and the writer's strike hit and you and Odenkirk were talking yes. and you said, hey, um, we might go to Chicago and do a stage show mm -hmm. with sketches that are too weird to get on SNL. Right. And then you guys asked me, would I come along? I was thrilled. I had a 1973 uh, Plymouth <laughs> Valiant that I, I flew to uh, LA which is where my car was. And I drove my car to Chicago by myself. Uh, and the car kept overheating, like it's that old movie, uh, Duel. Oh, yeah. It would oh, overheat right. on hills Spielberg and I would have movie. to pull it over. And by the way, I think he was driving also a, a similar car. Was he? Um, I would pull it over and the steam would, and then it would calm down and I had things of water and I would pour them in. And I made my way to Chicago and that was where, yeah. That changed that changed things for me because I thought I love this. I love working with these guys. Right. I love that we're doing a stage show in Chicago. I loved that summer. The whole thing was magical. Yeah, no, I I still feel like my years in Chicago before I even got Saturday Night Live are like professionally in some way the happiest years of my whole life. Just right. being in total control of your own show and and just I love the city of Chicago too, obviously, but. Um, but yeah, no, we loved you so much uh, when we met you. You're such a funny guy. And uh, I, Bob and I, like, I thought I was going to get fired from Saturday Night Live in the summer of 86. Mm -hmm. I, I did one season at SNL and I just barely hung on. And uh, Franken called me over the summer. And said, Al Franken, hey, yeah. Yeah. It's not looking good. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, you know, it's just a lot of people are... You know, it was a hard year. And uh, you know who really was funny? Swartzwell. <laughs> Remember what he wrote? Anyway, I'm sorry. It's just, yeah. So, but then Lauren called me in at the last minute. But but Odenkirk and I were developing a sketch show that summer. We were going to call it Sketchcom 90 or something. And, uh, and that's like where I first had the idea for the year 2000 sketch, mm -hmm. which... We ended up doing on Happy Happy it. Good Show. We did it in Chicago in 1988. Yeah. And we would all stand there later. and in the year 2000. Yes. And then we would make these insane predictions about what was then the future. Yes. yes. It was all based on this Jetsons concept in the 60s that 60s kids grew up with, which was the idea that like the space age is coming like by the year 2000. It had so much mystique to right. it. And then as we got closer to the year 2000, it was quite clear that it was going to be <laughs> Well, then the awkward thing was doing it still. I mean, late night, we never, <laughs> late night, despite everyone's predictions, yes. kept going and going and going and lasted and actually started, you know, worked. And then <laughs> we're doing it. And then it is the year 2000. And the year 2004. And then, it's, <laughs> and then we, and we kept thinking, do we need to change like in the distant future? And I, and I said, no. No. It's, it's just got to still be in the year 2000. It's so funny that And it then never it's changed. like in 2006, I'm like, it's time to look into the future <laughs> all the way to the year 2000. Uh, but it's a good problem to have. Um, uh, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, so, so we did that yes. show together. And we worked together a lot at SNL. And yeah. the one thing I remembered is feeling very much like you could finish my sentence and I could finish your yeah, sentence. Yeah, um, I, I only connected with a few writers in my years there, like really connected in different ways. Dana was one of them, Dana Carvey, mm -hmm. and not as a performer almost, because I love doing silly voices and yes. impressions. and. So we wrote a lot of like musical impression kind of sketches like McLaughlin and uh, Regis and things like that and Johnny Carson. And then um, Conan, I connected in a completely different way. Just we had this, um, we just saw people from a distance and we were able to kind of like reduce everybody to a cartoon. <laughs> yes, yeah, I was, because over the years people have said your biggest comedic influences and it's so cool to say, well, I would watch, uh, you know, old clips of Ernie Kovacs and that really, oh, yeah, and it's like, yeah. no, it's not true. Nothing inspired me more than Warner Brothers cartoons. Oh, God. Um, and yeah. uh, the so best. that, the idea of anything can be alive, which then yeah. uh, <laughs> Paul Rubens used so brilliantly in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh yeah. The idea that everything chair is cherry. Yes. Um, but, but. Uh, Anthropomorph. I, this is a thing I've done a thousand times in comedy and I can never pronounce it. Anthropomorphize. <laughs> Anthropomorphize. And, um, 
the uh, even the word anthropomorphize can be a character. Um, <laughs> Hi, I'm anthropomorphize. <laughs> What's up, anthropomorphize? Uh, but 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 you. Why are you so damn hard to pronounce? <laughs> That's just me, I guess. What up? What up?